Okay then, <clears throat> since it is a rainy day today, one of the things around here that's been needing to be fixed is this here toilet, because it's leaking. It's leaking from under here. See that bucket there that's dripping into? Well, let's see, it's leaking from right here. See that little drip on that? And where that's coming from, I'm pretty sure is that there's a rubber gasket between the bowl part and the tank part. And I believe I can turn the water off on the tank part and flush it so all the water goes out of it and lift the tank off, pull out that rubber gasket and go to the hardware store and get another one and put it back in there. These screws are corroded. Uh, I was looking to see if they were brass. I don't think they are. I think they're just metal, so they're going to break off. So I know I'm going to break them screws off, but I get new ones usually. Now I got some toilet parts in the upstairs back room that might fit this. I might not have to go to the hardware store, but I suppose I might as well get started and go ahead and break them bolts off. Uh, 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 I'll probably need a wrench. Looks like a 9 16 but if it's stripped off of there, I might have to get that off with a pair of vice grips or a big pair of pliers or something, but... Anyway, since it's raining outside, I might as well get that fixed. I've been putting it off and putting it off. Okay, so the first thing I'll do is cut the water off. Water valve turned off. Turn the water valve off. Off, 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 off. And I'll flush this baby. And then we'll pop our heads over in the back. See, all the water goes down. Well, I still got some of that. It'll go all the way down, so let's flush it again. We want all the water out of there because whatever water doesn't come out is going to be leaking on us. Get all the water out of there. And we're going to take them bolts loose, break them off one or the other. Mm, yep, that's what we're going to do. I'll go out in the garage and get me a wrench and see what we can do with that. Okay, then that bolt is so deteriorated that there's no way that I can turn it. I was using this little bolt cutting tool right here to try to cut it and I think I made some progress but not not completely what I was hoping to do now since I got this up and sort of pushed up through the hole I'm hoping I can get these bolt cutters on there and cut that bolt and pull it out I think I've got some plastic bolts upstairs from uh, toilet kits somewhere along the way I'll reach this over in the back there and see if I can snip that bolt off. I don't even think it's the gasket that's gone bad. I actually think it's been leaking right out of that bolt hole right there. So, let's try this. This thing here will cut a pretty heavy piece of wire. I was hoping that bolt would be rusty enough where I could cut it with it. But it's not readily coming loose. And, um, quite get a grinder down in there to get a hold of that. Maybe I could get a sawzall on it. There is a section there where it's very deteriorated. Maybe if I can get it high enough to get a hold of that. In that small spot. I'll just try a hacksaw blade. Okay, so it's fixed. Basically what it needed was that shiny new bolt you see down there in the bottom. I'll bring you to this angle here and you can see it from here. Of course, I got a lot of dirty stuff. Because of that old bolt leaking and all the rust that came out of it, I, things is really quite a mess in here. That's what I say. But it ain't leaking anymore, so <clears throat> the leak is fixed. All I gotta do now is just clean up the aftermath. Oh, we should be good to go here. We doggies. Finished. Woo and look, sun's coming out. I might get up on that roof after all.